It was, it's a shame you weren't here because it was, um, well, uh, well, yeah, it was quite uh, scary um, because we we're running on a deadline. We really wanted to run it. We were ready to run it one particular day and um, there were a few teething issues. Effectively, it's taking water that's got metal ions dissolved in it. Once you've got the hot uh, water flowing in here, it goes into the reactor. This one we call the big pig. Yeah. At this stage, these are holding tanks for uh, our chemical precursors. We've done loads and loads of work over years to, to work out reaction kinetics and, okay, and all the stuff that no one's really that bothered about. But in my mind, uh, I was thinking, if I've got this wrong, we're not going to make very much. Bizarrely, my, uh, my eldest son decided that he was kind of at a loose end, he's just finished his A-levels. He thought, okay, I'll come along, and so he ended up as the cameraman. We're about 20 minutes away from being at the right temperature and pressure to make uh, this material. And uh, so we're still heating up and waiting for the, the point where we'll turn the metal precursor into the reactor. The most annoying thing was, I was looking at this pipe, which is transparent, the bit that I was looking at anyway, and I was looking at my watch thinking there's got to be something coming through, and I was thinking maybe if I squint or something and I can pretend that there's something there, but I thought there's nothing in that pipe. And it seemed like an eternity. And then, the chem engine turn, whose name is Finley, decided to tell me just at that point, oh yeah, well, it's not coming through that pipe, we decided to make a change at the last minute, we've diverted it through that one. So you were watching the wrong pipe? I was watching the wrong pipe thinking, oh no, this is terrible. And it was, it was busy flowing into a different tank entirely. The tank that it was flowing into is fine, then we, we actually I put my arm in the tank and then actually took out the sample and we analysed it straight away. Everything that we expected this product to be was. It was highly crystalline, six nanometers plus or minus about one nanometer so it was really high specification material i don't think i was singing i don't think i got that far but i, I you know i was pretty happy and uh, everybody was pretty relieved there's lots of shaking of hands and uh, the champagne was in the fridge and all that so we, we we're ready for that now right this is product number one these are nanoparticles of zirconia that are so nicely stable in the water that they just sit there and it's actually relatively transparent. And if I stick a laser through it, you can see diffraction. If you shone a laser through water, then you wouldn't see anything at all. But uh, because there's nanoparticles floating in the solution, then you see diffraction. Diffraction is where the laser will ping off all the surfaces. And so um, that's why it, this is the cheapest, cheerfulest uh, test for actually knowing if it's working or not. All these materials are commercially useful uh, we have clients that are interested in them. We're particularly keen on knowing what our MOF output will be, that's metal organic framework output, because we think if, again, the kinetics principles apply, this, this plant will be the largest in the world. So that is a really exciting uh, development, if we can do that. Explain. Uh, so we have dosed a 500 litre tank full of zirconium acetate. And it's gonna make maybe 20 kilos of product? Yeah, about between 15 and 20 kilos. And do you want to bet five pounds on the size of the product? Because I'm going for four nanometers. Four? Plus or minus one nanometer. What? Sorry, I can't be more specific than that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay, according to this, we have a hydrodynamic radius of 22.99, which we know correlates to about five to eight nanometers. So I've just won a five pound bet on exactly what size we've actually been making this material. Well, the company uh, is called Promethean Particles. At some points, I wish I'd called the company Icarus, although that's probably taken, because uh, it did feel as if we had flown a little too close to the sun and that we were a little bit too ambitious, to say the least. So as we were assembling it against the deadline, the pressure was immense. You know, it, it stands on its own merits in that it is the largest plant of its kind because it doesn't just make titania, it can make sulfides and hydroxides, phosphates, MOFs, all sorts of things. Then we've got product. That's good. That's a relief. Water molecules attached to it as well, but it's, uh, it's essentially the precursor for making iron oxide, or it's nano rust is what we're making. So it doesn't sound very sophisticated, but we make the finest nano rust in the world. Uh...